Hello World. This is again a long overdue comparison between two autonomous flight modes for DJI drones. I test here with the DJI Inspire 2 with a Zenmuse X5S camera. The two apps I will test are Hangar Autopilot version 4.7 and Ligi version 2.6.4. These apps are the two latest version as available per date. Although I've always been an autopilot fan, I've also have a Litchi license and sometimes I even use it. I've also tried to use the DJI Ground Station Pro, which is only available for the iPad and for the other one, but it can do what the two latter apps do, so I will not discuss it any further. Maybe at another video. Both apps have their advantages and their disadvantages. The Ligi Pros. It has a web interface. It's cheaper than autopilot. It's enough for normal missions. And you have regular updates. The Ligi Cons. It's difficult to program. It has no path inspector. It's not easy with complex missions. Limited possibilities for detailed adjustments. And sometimes it's just not logic. Autopilot Pros. It's very versatile and professional. Almost unlimited possibilities, fine tuning and everything. It's very logical. A very smooth drone and camera movement. It has a path inspector. And it's one app that does it all. Mapping, uh, zip lines, orbits, everything. But it has also some cons. Sometimes it's complex to program. It has no web interface. Too much adjustable details. And it looks like it's forgotten by Hangar with regards to upgrades. In this video I've made a small waypoint route with six waypoints and a point of interest. The drone should stop at every waypoint for about five seconds and continue the flight. The speed is set at 13 km per hour and elevation starts at 30 meters and increases to 35 meters above ground level. It is intended that during the flight the camera is always focused at the point of interest. Both drones will fly the same mission with the same parameters. In autopilot you just draw a figure and autopilot will convert the figure into a flight path. The only thing you have to do is change the Bezier into rounded corners. The main difference here is that Bezier has the curves outside the flight path and rounded corners inside the flight path. You also need to reduce the amount of waypoints and set of course the mission details like flight path, the elevation and focus strategy. Now place your point of interest and program each waypoint with their corresponding details.
Litchi, you start with placing the waypoints. Litchi draws a straight flight path between the waypoints with rounded corners if more than two waypoints. You also can draw a curve and change the radius per waypoint. You need to set in every waypoint the point of interest as your gimbal pitch mode. details are from air data. I have made 10 flights, 4 for autopilot and 6 for Litchi. This is the flight path of autopilot. It's a little serrated, but please note that we had over 24 meters per second of wind speed. This is the maximum for the Inspire 2. This is the flight path of Litchi. These are actually two routes. Although the wind was less, the arrows still indicate the impact.
a serious issue with Litchi. It has a problem with the free movement camera. When we look at all flight path, we see that the wind has its toll, but the routes are almost the same. I have used two different starting points, so the approach to the mission start point was different. The two arrows indicate the points where Litchi was confused. And now the moment we have all been waiting for, my final conclusion. that both apps have the same approach but just a different execution. I was really surprised how stable Litchi was in heavy side winds. Really, really good. But overall, Autopilot has a lot less issues and flies just a little bit more confident. Everything works just a little bit better. Therefore, which is the better one? Well, I would go for Autopilot. But, very clearly, that doesn't mean that Litchi is bad. After the some days of testing, I saw a lot of new details which might up in a new in-depth video about Litchi and some of its features. So, thanks for watching my channel and um, I hope if you have any comments please list it below and if you like then please give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you at another video.